الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي لم يزل عالما قديرا حيا قيوما سميعا بصيرا الصلاة والسلام على رسوله أرسله إلى الناس كافة بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه وزرياته وأهل بيته وأنصاره وأسهاره وأشعاره وأتباعه صلاة طيبة مباركة باقية وسلاما مستمرة الدوام على مر الليال والليام يا ذا الجلال والإكرام أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كلامه المجيد والفرقان الحميد الحج وشهر معلومات فمن فرض فيهن الحج فلا رفث ولا فسوق ولا جدال في الحج وما تفعلوا من خير يعلمه الله وتزبدوا فإن خير زاد التقوى والتقون يا أولي الألباب ثم قال الله تبارك وتعالى في مكام آخر يا أيها الذين آمنوا اذكروا الله ذكرا كثيرا وصبحوه بكرة واصيلا ثم قال الله تبارك وتعالى الأحلى يوم يذن بعدهم لبعدنا دوب إلا المتقين صدق الله مولانا العظيم إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا وأصحاب سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم وسلم عليه الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيدي يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا شفيع المذنبين وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيدي يا رحمة للعالمين ہم جو سلاد کے بعد ہم سب اللہ حرب و عزت کا شکر ادا کرتے ہیں کہ جس مالک نے اپنے پیاری نبی فخر موجودات خلاصہ کائنات محمد مصطفیٰ احمد مشتبہ حبیب کبریا تاجدار مدینہ کی امت سے پیدا فرمایا اور ہمیں آج ایک بات پھر اس افسانہ یالیہ غوثیہ گیلانیہ قادریہ یہاں پہ آ کر ایک توانے کی ہمیں توفیق مرحمت فرمائی اور بالخصوص حضور سیدنا و مرشدنا حضور شہزادہ غوث الورا سیدی و مرشدی و سندی و فکتی و رجائی و مولائی الشیخ السید حاشم عبدالقادر منصور الدین البیرانی البغدادی حفیظہ اللہ تعالی اور آپ کے برادر اصغر الشیخ السید معنی الگیلانی البغدادی حفیظہ اللہ تعالی آپ بھی یہاں موجود ہیں It's a great honor for us to be here الحمدللہ تعالی Once again I always say this and I have to say this because this is a special you know we are the chosen ones so every week when we come here alhamdulillah with the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gives us tawfiq and ability and strength to be here to sit in the company and sohba of Huzur Shahzad and Ghosul Wara and to do their ziyara and today is most special for us alhamdulillah ta'ala because the two princes of Baghdad Sharif are here and we are doing the ziyara of Shahzad Ghani Huzur Sikhidun Abu Salaad Radhi Allah Ta'ala who is the Sultan of the Awliyai wa Salihin Mahboob Subhani Qutb Rabbani Shahbad Ila Makani Al-Shaykh Sayyid Abu Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Qadir Al-Jailani Al-Hassani Wal Husseini Huzur Sikhidun Abu Salaad Radhi Allah Ta'ala So we have no words to say thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
that he has blessed us with such a great personalities as you can see so we are doing their ziyara so doing the ziyara of awliya allah is also ibada because doing the ziyara last week i also mentioned these things in the light of the hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam as the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to once sayyidina sudi ke akbar radhi allah taala when he was sitting and looking constantly continuously to the face of sayyidina ali ibn murtada radhi allah taala so umul mu'minin sayyida aisha sadiqa radhi allah taala na asked oh my father i have found this and i always find this that whenever you sit with mola ali mushkil kushar radhi allah taala and you always look at his face and what he replied Sayyidina Siddiq Akbar رضي الله تعالى من المؤمنين says I have heard سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أن نذر إلى وجه علي بن عباد I have heard the رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم saying this that to see the face of علي المرتضى رضي الله تعالى إذا إبادة فالله سبحانه وتعالى so in other words he meant to say that I am doing the إبادة that doing the زيارة مولى علي المرتضى رضي الله تعالى and then through this now you can say who are they they are the aulad of ali ibn murtada radi allahu ta'ala the aulad of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam so this is the evidence based on this that's doing the ziyara of such a great personality is also the ibadah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so today is so special for us and it's honor for us to have the two shahadagan and we do dua pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ke allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them long long life and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to see the more and more blessings from them inshallah wa lazim to ye hamare liye bahut badi izzat aur takreem ki baat hai hamare liye baais e fakhr hai baais e musarrat hai ke hum aaj is mehfil e zikr mein jab aap aaye hain تو حضور سیدنا غوث اللہ اعظم کے دو شہزادگان کی ہم زیارت کر رہے ہیں حضور سیدی کے بھائی ہیں محترم الشیخ سید معن البیلانی البغدادی حفیظ اللہ تعالی وہ بھی یہاں موجود ہیں اور ہم ان کی زیارت کر رہے ہیں اللہ پاک ہمارے غوث اللہ اعظم رضی اللہ تعالی کی اس گرانے کو اتا دم قیامت سلامت رکھے ان کی سائیں اس پورے عالم اسلام پر تا دیر قائم اور دائم رکھے سو so, as you know mafil zikr every week we come here and we begin with the tilawat e kalam e pak and now I request kibla uh, motram kari sahab to start with the recitation of the quran this mafil chari so inshallah aziz tilawat e kalam e pak se aagaz hoga to iske baad agla sisla inshallah shuru karenge nara e takbeer nara e risalat nara e hadari نارے <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الله اولئك عليهم صلاة Yeah. 
As you know nowadays, the Muslim from all over the world planning to go for Hajj. Some of them have already gone, some are preparing to go. So, in the Safa wal Marwata, in Sha'ilillah, it's very important to understand this one when you go for the Hajj. I was just telling yesterday in my Friday speech. Uh, to the people like if you go for Hajj and there are many people who always whenever they go they, they have some complaints always who face this, who face these hardship, difficulties, all these things you know Hajj is the name of actually Sabr, the patience you have to show, the patience Sabr, Istiqama, Sabr Qadmi all these things so I told them one thing is very important whenever you go there you must think, where are you now? In the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Which city is it? The city of Makkah Sharif. And Mutab, Safa, Marwa, all these things. Always keep in your mind, whenever you enter there, okay, this is the city of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, Where he was born. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasallam was born there. And he spent 53 years of his life in the city of Makkah Sharif. And when you do the tawaf, always remember now you are doing, we are doing, you are doing the tawaf of the Kaaba Sharif. How many prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam before that, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, Ismail alayhi salatu wa salam, thousands of the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, did the tawaf of Kaaba Sharif in the same place? Keep in mind here when you do the tawaf, and then above all, the Prophet of the Prophets, the Messenger of the Messengers, our beloved Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he did the tawaf there. He was used to do the tawaf there. The same place now you are doing tawaf there, and always think about it. And whenever you go outside. Always think the streets, the roads, the place, wherever you go, the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to go there. 
this is the city of Makkah Sharif. And then you will never, you know, the, your intention, your thinking will never go there, anywhere else. So always concentrate on these things. Okay, this is the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The house of Allah about which the Prophet said, Annadru ilal Kaabati ibadatun. You just go there doing nothing else, just sitting or standing up there, just looking at the Kaaba Sharif, just looking at the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, actually you are doing the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just any fakat annazru ilal Kaabati ibadatun. Just looking at the Kaaba Sharif and think about the importance and the significance of this. Just looking at the Kaaba Sharif, you are seeking the ibadah. You are doing the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what about the, then the tawaf and the safa marwa, say safa marwa, maqam Ibrahim, reading the namaz, doing tawaf, everything. Big things. Just look at the Kaaba Sharif, it's the ibadah. صرف کعبہ شریف کو دیکھنا نظر اس کی طرف کرنا آقا علیہ السلام نے فرمایا صرف اس کو دیکھتے رہو یہ بھی عبادت ہے اللہ کے گھر کو صرف دیکھنا ہی عبادت ہے سو الحمدللہ تعالی دعا کریں اللہ رب العزت جو جا رہے ہیں ان کا سفر مبارک فرمائے خیر و فیرز کے ساتھ وہ پہنچیں ریچولز اب حج جو ہیں حج کی ادائیگی میں اللہ پاک ان کے لئے اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی میرے اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی میں ایک ایزی فر دن ایبری and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us to feet to go again and again to Hijaz and Muqaddas to do the ziyarah to do the Hajj Umarah and to do the ziyarah of the Rawza Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam again and again یہ دعا کیا کریں اب جو ہے محفل کو آگے چلاتے ہوئے ابلاتِ رسولِ مقبول صلاللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم کے لئے is brother Usman is it? yeah so I would now like to request brother Usman al-Qadri to come and to read the Naat Sharif, Naat Sharif ke liye, which I may request karta hoon, ke wo aayin, wo Naat Rasool-e Makbool sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wo pish kare naara-e takbir, naara-e risalat, naara-e hadari, naara-e ghawsiya, huzur shahzada-e ghawsul bara. Allahumma salli ala سيدنا ومولانا محمد الله صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد اللهم صل على سيدنا يا رد الذي قلي كلي هوبي يا رد الذي قلي كلي هوبي جداراك مولا علي هوبي جداراك مولا علي هوبي جداراك مولا علي هوبي جدا پیر غوث جلی ہو بے اللہ ہم صل على سیدنا و مولانا محمد و على آلہ و صحبہ و بارک و سلم اللہ هم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد نيك سمت
سمت علی ایک سمت عمر صدیق ادھر عثمان ادھر صدیق ادھر عثمان ادھر ان جگ مگ جگ مگ تاروں نے ان جگ مگ جگ مگ تاروں میں سرکار کا عالم کیا ہوگا اللہ ہم صلی علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و بارک و سلم اللہ ہم صلی علی سیدنا محمد جب حسن تھا ان کا جلوہ نما جب حسن تھا ان کا جلوہ نما انوار کا عالم کیا ہوگا ہر کوئی فدا ہے بن دیکھے ہر کوئی فدا ہے بن دیکھے تو دیدار کا عالم کیا ہوگا اللہ ہم صلی علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و بارک و سلم اللہ ہم صلی علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد دل یاد لے بنایا تاریف لے زبان اکھیاں بنایا سونے دے دیدار واسطے اللہ ہم صلی علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد اللہ ہم صلی علی سیدنا و مولانا محمد و علی آلہ و صحبہ و با موسیقی مخبور یقین ہن مدبریاں 
حضور شہزادہ غوث الورا صلی اللہ علیہ کیا یا رسول اللہ وسلم علیہ کیا حبیب اللہ ناتِ سرکار کی فرطا ہوں میں ناتِ سرکار کی فرطا ہوں میں بس اسی بات سے گھر میں میری رحمت ہوگی ایک تیرا نام وسیلہ ہے میرا ایک تیرا نام وسیلہ ہے میرا رنج و غم راحت ہوگی اور یہ سنا ہے کہ بہت بور اندیری ہوگی یہ سنا ہے کہ بہت قبر کا خوف نہ رکھنا اے دل وہاں سرکار کے چہرے کی زیارت ہو ان کو مختار بنا خلد میں بس وہی جا سکتا ہے جس کو حسنین کے بابا کی اجازت حشر کا دن بھی عجب دے
एक सहारा है कि मैं उनका हूँ एक सहारा है कि हम उनके हैं इसी निसब से सरे हश शिफात होगी कि तेरा नाम वसीला है मेरा खूबसूरत कलाम पड़ा है अल्लाह पा कबूल फरमाए इनके जोक शौक में और इजाफा फरमाए अलहमदुल्ला तला As I was saying before, regarding the Hajj, one more thing is very important when you go for the Hajj. Both of us have just recited in the Safa wal Marwata min Shahirillah. There is another thing: what tahiru min Maqami Marwahim Musalla. You know these two things. It's very very important. Last few weeks we have been, Alhamdulillah, and Uzur Singh, you discussing. the story of sayyidina yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam from different angles and now sayyidina ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam sayyidina ismail alayhi salatu wasalam their story here is very very important question why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say wa tahidu min maqam ibrahim musalla you know that stone when sayyidina ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was building the kaaba sharif father and son both of them why jarfa'u ibrahim al qawaida min al bayt wa ismail so when they were doing this that stone where sayyidina ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was standing on it and he built the kaaba sharif and now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying make that stone that place is musalla musalla mean jaye namaz the place of the prayer Musallah, what tahir means to take it, make it. Mim Maqam Ibrahim, Musallah, Maqam Ibrahim, the place where you are used to stand on that stone. But look, the question is, why this stone is so special? Why Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is saying what tahir means Maqam Ibrahim, Musallah? That is a stone like other stones. What's the difference between this stone and other stones? Why is it so special? Now the answer, only one answer, nothing else. That this stone actually touched the feet of Sayyid Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. Because the feet of the Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was touching that stone. That is why that stone is saved there. Now, you know the same ayah karima, Quran e Karim says, "What tahiyyu min maqam Ibrahim alayhi salam?" The next is Antahira Beiti Ali Taifin, Wala Tifin, Warukai Sujud. O Ibrahim, O Ismail, Ali Mas, both of you, make it pure, clean it. The house of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the Mutakifin, for the Mu'amirin, for those who do Umrah and the Tawaf and the Ruku and Sajda, all of them, make it clean, pure it. Means keep all the stones away from the house of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, but this stone will stay there. This stone will stay there till the judgment day. What tahid bin Maqam Ibrahim al Musalla? That stone is still there. Why is it? One reason I just told you. Ibrahim al Salat al Salam because this stone will tell the story till the judgment day. Whoever comes to the house of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for the Umrah for Hajj, this stone will be telling them the story. This was the stone when Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam and Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam they were building the house of Allah subhanahu wa taala. And you know what happened? That was also a miracle. This stone when he was standing on it, you know you always need when the the high building you need the scaffolding. You need support to go higher and higher. And he was building, going the walls of Kaaba she was going higher and higher. That stone was coming up itself higher and higher for Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. Now it is there because the feet of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam touched that feet, that stone that is still there. Now look at the 
aqeedah of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Who you say all those things which touch the body of the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually they become so special. Here is the evidence. If anyone asks you this question, why you always seek the blessing from the things? Blessing from the church, blessing from the stone, blessing from all these things. We touch the body of the saints of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now here come to the Kaaba Sharif, the Mutaf Sharif. When you go there, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, What tahnir min maqami Ibrahim al Musalla. That stone is there telling you the story. That stone touched the feet of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. So that is why we always seek the blessings, the barakah from the things which touch the bodies of the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the saints of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam ke kadamu ne us pathar ko chua hai is liye waj special ho gaya hai. اس لیے کہا گیا کہ اس جگہ کو جائے نماز بنا لو جہاں میرا خلیل یعنی ابراہیم علیہ السلام جہاں پر کھڑے ہوتے تھے ان کے کھڑے ہونے کی جگہ کو جائے نماز بنا لو پتھر تو اور بھی تھے سارے بار نکال دیئے گئے اس کو یہاں پہ سیف کر دیئے گئے there is another reason علماء سے this is the one of the reason there is another reason to protect that stone and it is still there ابراہیم علیہ السلام you know ابراہیم علیہ السلام he did many duas. When he completed the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he did dua. What was that? One of them was, Rabbana wabafihim rasoola. That was the special dua. Because the question is, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam was used to stand up there many the stones. He traveled from Iraq, Ur, as you say, he always tell us, the place where he was born, he was Ur in Iraq, the country Iraq. He traveled from Iraq to the Sham and to the Hijaz e Muqaddas. And he touched many stones, but not all the stones were saved and protected. Why this one? Why only this one? Yes, this is the one reason he built the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This stone was under the feet of Sayyidina Rahim alayhi salatu wa salam. But there were many others as well in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was in Mutaf. There are many other stones. Why only this one? Or bhi bahut se patthar the, jaan wa mojood the, baaki kiyo ni sev kiye ge? Ye ek sir patthar maqam Ibrahim ke liye kiyo rakha gaya? Ulama said, because when he completed the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he did a very special dua. That was the dua which was about the birth and the milad of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is why this stone has been saved till the judgment day. Ye jo patthar hai, aaj jo maqam Ibrahim Bakhari tells the story ke why I'm there, why that stone is there. These are the reasons. One, it touched the feet of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam during the building of the Kaaba Sharif. And by, and at the end, and the completion of the Kaaba Sharif, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam did the dua of the milad of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi sallam. This is why the stone is there. The blessings and the barakah that we take from there, this is its evidence. The next is Safa Marwa. One can say, yes, okay, that was the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but now look at the Safa Marwa. Who did it first time? Sayyidah Hajra salamu alayhi alayhi. The wife of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. The mother of Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam. She was not the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She was the mother of a Prophet and the wife of a Prophet. She was a Saliha and a Waliya. Now look at it. She did it eight years ago, centuries back, nearly four thousand years. Since Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was there. Four thousand years ago, it was about three thousand years ago. She was looking at for the water. Her son said, Now it's my name, Salatu Wasalam. And she just walked there and ran there. Safa Marwa, from Safa to Marwa, Marwa to Safa, seven times. She did this. But now look, she was running there for the water. But it's my name, Salatu Wasalam. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us till the judgment day. The Muslims, the whole ummah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa till the judgment day, whenever you come to Makkah Sharif for Umrah and Hajj you have to do the Safa Marwa because this is the Sunnah of Sayyidah Hajra Salaam Allah Ya Allah 
it became the sunnah so special that place also why because that place safa marwa also touched with the feet of sayyida hajra salamullah alayha also so special that is our aqeedah i always say this our aqeedah alhamdulillah is based on quran and sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfeeq to follow the footstep of the quran and sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam अब मैं जो है रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा काफी दोस्तों की रिक्वेस्ट थी लास्ट वीक वो जो मैंने कलाम पढ़ा था जस्ट रोट लास्ट वीक कमिंग टू अस्ताना शरीफ एंड फिनिश डेर आउट साइड अस्ताना शरीफ वो मैंने पढ़ी थी तो कुछ दोस्तों की ख्वाहिश थी कि वो उसको दोबारा पढ़े दैट वॉज टूडे इज नाउ कम्प्लीटेड मीन्स के उसकी होता है ना कुछ थोड़ा बहुत लास्ट अचीज वो हो क्या अलहमदल इज कम्प्लीट नाउ तो इंशाल्लाह आई रीड फ्यू अशार इंशाल्लाह एट द एंड अब जो है मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा मोहतरम कारी साहब तशरीफ लाएं और मन पर जो है दूसरी नगर सलादी तुम की जो भी पसंद करें वाक्य सुनाए हमें नारा तकबीर नारा रिसाल नारा हैदरी नारा गौसिया हजूर शाहजादा गौसल बरा मोहब्बत के साथ रोशी का नजाना पेश करें सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि सफल खुदा के फजल से ह 
پر ہے سایا سے آزم کا خدا کے فضل سے ہم پر ہے سایا سے آزم کا ہمیں دونوں جہاں میں ہے سہارا سے آزم کا ہمیں دونوں جہاں میں ہے سہارا سے آزم کا خدا کے فضل سے ہم پر ہے سایا سے آزم کا محمد کا رسولوں میں ہے جیسے مرتبہ آلا محمد کا رسولوں میں کا ہے افضل اولیاء میں یوں ہی رتباؤں سے آزم کا خدا کے سپڑے خدا کے فضل سے ہم پر ہے سایا سے مریدی لا تخف کہہ کر تسلی دی غلاموں کو مریدی لا تخف کہہ کر تسلی دی غلاموں کو قیامت تک رہے بے خوف بندہوں سے آزم کا قیامت تک رہے بے خوف بندہوں سے آزم کا خدا کے فضل سے ہم پر ہے سایا ہماری لاج کس کے ہاتھ ہے بغداد والے کے سپڑ ہماری لاج کس کے ہاتھ ہے بغداد والے کے مصیبت ٹال دے کام کس کا وہ سے آزم کا مصیبت ٹال دینا کام کس کا وہ سے آزم کا لوڑا اپنا چٹایا احمد مختار نے ان کو نواب اپنا چٹایا احمد مختار نے ان کو تو پھر کیسے نہ ہوتا بول بالا آزم کا تو پھر کیسے نہ ہوتا بول بادا وہ سے آزم کا عزیزوں کر چکو تیار جب میرے جنازے کو جب میرے جنازے کو تو 
लिख देना कफन पर नाम वाला वो से आजम का तो लिख देना कफन पर नाम वाला वो से आजम का खुदा के फजल से हम पर है साया वो से आजम का खुदा दुआम कबूल कर हम सयाहों की खुदा बंदा दुआम कबूल कर हम सयाहों की गुनाहों को हमारे बख्श सद का वो से आजम का गुनाहों को हमारे बख्श सद का वो से आजम का खुदा के फजल से हम पर ऐसाया वो से आजम का जमील कादरी सो जान हो कुर्बान मुर्शद पर जमील कादरी सो जान हो कुर्बान मुर्शद पर बनाया जिसने मुझ जैसे को बंदा वो से आजम का बनाया जिसने मुझ जैसे को बंदा वो से आजम का खुदा के फसल से हम पर ऐसाया वो से आजम का हमें दोनों जहां में है सहारा वो से आजम का माशाला कारी साहब ने खूबसूरत मन पर पड़ी है अल्लाह फरमाए अब जो है कुछ वक्त के लिए मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा ब्रदर हसन अजमल अल कादरी वो तशीफ लाते हैं और तो अपना खूबसूरत मैसेज फॉर द यंगस्टर्स फॉर द यूथ इन तो वो तशीफ लाते हैं नारा है तकबीर नारा रिसाल नारा हैदरी जरा ऊंचा बोल रहा था पता लगा हुआ जरा थकी नहीं जाए ठीक ना ठाड़ है नाराए गौसिया हजूर शाहजादा गौसुल वरा हजूर शाहजाद गाने गौसुल वरा अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह रब्बिल आलमीन वसलातु वसलामु अला सय्यिदिल अंबिया वल मुरसलीन व अला आलिही व अहाबी व अहल बेती व अलिया उम्मती व अहल सुन्नती अजमाइन अम्माबाद फ़ाउज़बिल्लाशैदीम बसमिल्लाम अलाउलिया खौफ़न वलाम यासन सदक मौलान अज़ीम وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم الأمين ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم وصل عليه السلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله 
وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيد يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا سيد يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيد يا نبي الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رحمة للعالمين وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا خاتم النبيين All praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Lord and Cherisher of the world and infinite salutations upon the best of creation, the light of creation, the purpose of creation, none other than Sayyidina Rasulullah alayhi salatu was salam and numerous salutations and blessings upon the one whom we send blessings in order to receive blessings. Huzur Sayyidina Qutb al-Rabbani, Mahabub al-Subhani, Shahbaz al-Lamakani, Kindil al-Nurani, Al-Shaykh Al-Sayyid Abu Muhammad Muhyuddin Abdul Qadir Al-Jilani, Al-Hassani wa Al-Husayni radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Alhamdulillah, no doubt we are blessed today that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed us to gather in such a gathering where the flowers and roses of the same garden of Sayyidina Wasi Azam radiyallahu ta'ala anhu are present here today. Huzur Shahzadai Ghassan Bara, Al-Sheikh Al-Sayyid, Hashim Abdul Qadir Mansuruddin Al-Kilani Al-Baghdadi, Hafizahullah Ta'ala, and their younger brother, Al-Sheikh Al-Sayyid Ma'an Al-Kilani Al-Baghdadi, Hafizahullah Ta'ala. If you want to see a true person of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, and a friend of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the awliyai karam, the buzur khan al-deen have given us a dars that when you look at the faces of such people, they remind you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today you are doing ziyarat of such personalities, and I am happy that I don't have to explain this to you from books. You can do ziyarat and see yourself, that such faces are present in front of you, that when you just take a glance of these faces, you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, alhamdulillah, in the starting Qibla Qari Sahib recited an ayat, from the Quran Kareem and Qibla Hafiz have expanded upon this but all these things come under one category and that is Nisbat. Nisbat is attaining attachment with something so that you become recognized from it. The Nisbat which Qibla Kari Sahib was talking about that Maqsood praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which way, where we go to perform Hajj and Umrah or if you look at other places in the Qur'an, the nisbat of the dog of ashab e all these things, they come around nisbat. If you go into the gathering of a doctor, you will find patients, you will find medical experts. If you go into the gathering of lawyers, you will find solicitors. If you go into the gathering of business people, you will find those people who have experience in business. But when you come into the gathering of the friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will find the rahmah, the mercy, and the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that gathering. This is the barakat, and this is what we receive from Nisbat. Shah Abdul Haq Muhaddis Delvi rahmatullah ta'ala alayhi, who is from the subcontinent and is an authority scholar in the subcontinent. He says about Sayyidina Ghassi Azam radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the reason I am telling you this is that alhamdulillah, we have attained Qadri Nisbat. We are in the Astana, which is linked directly to Baghdad Shri. So what do we take from here? What is the purpose of coming here? What is the purpose of leaving your homes, your towns, your, and coming into this gathering? Shah Abdul Haq Muhaddis Delvi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala says about Sayyidina Ghosi Azam Ta'ala Anhu that the way Ghos Paak Ta'ala Anhu in their life used to distribute physically and spiritually, in the grave, Huzur Ghasi Azam ta'ala anhu distributes physically and spiritually in the exact same way. Shah Abdul Haq Muhaddis Delvi is saying that just because you cannot see Sayyidina Ghasi Azam ta'ala anhu, it does not mean that the distribution of physical and spiritual wealth is not the same. It is exactly the same as the life of Sayyidina Ghasi Azam. Today you have come to the Bargah, this Astana, it is the same as those Murids who went into the Bargah of Sayyidina Ghasi Azam. This is an Imam, an authority from our Akidah. Now let me tell you this, if I place Huzur Ghasi Azam 
many ulama, awliya, sufiya, buzurk have prayed to Zul Sayyidina wa Azam. And of course, it is a blessing for us. But there are those personalities from different aqai, different understandings, and even they have praised Zul Sayyidina wa Sayyidina wa Sayyidina wa There's a famous Imam from a different school of thought, from a different understanding, um, commonly known as Ibn Taymiyyah, and he writes in his works about Sayyidina Ghassi Azam anhu. He said, I have seen and experienced about one thing about Huzur Ghassi Paak anhu, that whoever came into the gathering of Huzur Ghassi Azam anhu, as soon as they entered the door where Huzur Ghassi Paak anhu was sat, and Shahinshai Baghdad looked at them, Huzur Ghassi Azam knew what was inside the heart of that person and why he has come here today. This is what an Imam from a different understanding is saying about Ghazpaq anhu. And if you listen to them Imams, somebody was asked, I was watching the other day, just going through the channels, on a different channel, somebody asked one of these Imams that in Tawheed, if we was to follow somebody, who would you give as an example? And he said, Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani anhu. If you want to follow Tawheed, follow Sayyidina Ghazi Azam anhu. Such is the maqam of Ghaz Park that even those from different aqaid are using Ghaz Yazam as an example of Tawheed, as an example of Haq, and as an example of attaining istiqamat on the deen. Huzur Ghaz Yazam anhu's family is famous for their piety, is famous for giving, is famous for honesty, is famous for ilm, is famous for trustworthy. This is what the Khanwada of Huzur Ghaz Yazam is famous for. And there's a very famous saying that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, loves somebody, He places the love of that person into the hearts of people. And you can see yourself today that around the entire globe, there are the lovers and muridin and ashikeen of Sayyidina Ghazi Azam ta'ala anhu. In every part of the world, you will find the lovers of Huzur Ghazi Paak. So as I was saying, all these things, they come round to Nisbat. And in Nisbat, the aim or the focus is Sayyidina Ghazi Azam ta'ala anhu, and everything else will take you that way. There are many silsilas in the world, there are many Mashaykhani Uzam, and the manzil, the aim, the goal is Sayyidina Ghazi Azam ta'ala anhu. They will take you from different paths. Someone will take you from the front, someone will take you from the left, someone will take you from the right. But the job of every Shaykh is to take your hand and place it into the hand of Sayyidina Ghazi Azam Because this is a fundamental belief of the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah that there is no deity worthy of worship apart from Allah. Nabi Wasallam is the final messenger of Allah and all the saints of Allah are under the hukum of Sayyidina Ghazi Azam this is a fundamental belief of the Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So this is why I'm telling you that every Mashaykh's job is to take you to Sayyidina Ghazi Azam. And when your Shaykh himself is the blood of Ghazi Azam, is the nur and nazar of Hazur Sayyidina Ghazi Azam, and is the key holder of Sayyidina Ghazi Azam, every silsila and every chain has to have it directly. So from Sayyidina Rasulullah Wasallam, from hand to hand to hand, to your Shaykh, to you. When you look at yourself and you work upwards from your shaykh, the line should be direct. The line should not have any chain missing to Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. And alhamdulillah, this Khan Wata Ghazi Azam, whatever angle you look at it from, from one side you get the fragrance of Al Hassani, from the other side you get the fragrance of Al Husayni, and both chains take you to the Qurana of Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. Such is the beauty of the Khan Wada of Huzur Sayyidina. You may all not be able to travel to Baghdad Sharif, but Sayyidina Ghazi Azam has placed two presents for you here today. These are two gifts from the Bargah of Ghazi Azam. Those of you who have not been, today it is like we are sitting in the Majlis in Baghdad Sharif. This is Nisbat and this is connection of the hearts. In the Nisbat you will find that child was reciting before a man of the Huzur Khaja Gharib Nawaz. All these awliya Allah, there is something between them that their hearts are linked to Sayyidina Ghazi Azam ta'ala anhu. Whether it's Khaja Harib Nawaz, he lowered his head at that time when Huzur Ghazi Azam was sat in the member in Baghdad Sharif. And Huzur Khaja Harib Nawaz lowered his head and said, Ya Ghaz, your Qadr Mubarak is on my eyes and my head as well. 
they had that sadar. So if Khaja Gharib Nawaz can hear Sayyidina Ghazi Azam, do you think Sayyidina Ghazi Azam can hear you from Brayfield today? That Fazan is in the entire world. No matter where you are, there are two things you need to have. One is ikhlas and one is other. If you look in the book of Sayyidina Ghazi Azam, there's a very famous book, Fadul Ghaib Sharif. And Sayyidina Ghazi Azam has dedicated an entire chapter to ikhlas. Even when Ghazbaq talks about ibadat, the first chapter is ikhlasul ibadat. Ghazbaq who told us, in every action you take, you must have ikhlas in your heart. You must have sincerity in your heart. You come here today, the maqsad is you are coming for the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are coming for the nisbat of Ghazi Azam and you are coming for the ziyarat of Huzul Shahzada in Ghazul Bara. If you keep ikhlas in your heart, then that action itself becomes pure. You will receive more from what you are longing for. And the second thing that you must always keep is the adab, the respect. Whether it's for the awlaad, whether it is for any mamlaad in the deen, we must respect one another. As fellow Muslim brothers, we must respect one another. But when it comes to the Khan Bada of Huzur Wasi Azam, you must show utmost respect. Why? Even Awliya Allah came in this bargah with their head down. Awliya Allah came to the bargah of Wasi Azam. Look at your Muqaddar and your Naseeb. When you go to the Urs Mubarak of Huzur Wasi Azam, because of Huzur Shahzadai Wasi Barai, you see all different ziyarats. Because of Huzur Sayyidi, you go inside the maqam of Waspa. But don't forget there were those awliya who just wanted a glance of the darbar of Wasi Azam anhu to say we have seen the darbar of Huzur Waspaq and they returned from there. Because this nisbat is the muhabbat and aqidat which we keep in this dunya and the akhirah as well. On the day of judgment, when Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam will have the janda of Levi Ham, we want to go to Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam behind the nisbat of Huzur Wasi Azam anhu. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks you what have you brought, we will say we brought the nisbat and muhabbat of Sayyidina Wasi Azam ta'ala anhu. That is a savior for us in this dunya and the akhirah as well. And finally, I just want to mention two points with the hukum of Huzur Shahzada Ya Wasil Bara. It was something I mentioned a few weeks back. And as I was saying, as you've heard um, Huzur Sayyidi speeches as well, that wherever they have done programs in the world, there is a common phrase we have heard from Huzur Peer Sahib that they commonly tell us that we have not come here by chance, but we have come here with the choosing and the arrangement of Sayyidina Wasi Azam anhu. And Huzur Wasi Azam anhu says, in my lifetime I was shown a scroll and it had the name of every single one of my murids until the day of judgment. Imagine that you were chosen from that time when you was not even in the dunya. Azur Ghazpaq says that I seen a scroll with the name of every single murid of mine until the day of judgment. Now look how great the nisput of Ghazpaq is. That on the day of judgment, it has been recorded about various anbiya. Sayyidina Ibrahim Khalilullah, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. When you go to them for help, they will say, Izhabu ila ghairi. Go to somebody else's door, we are not here to help you today. For two doors will be open for the Ashikeen and the Muridin of Ghazi Azam One is the door of Nabi Wasalam, and one is the door of Sayyidina Ghazi Azam Even on that day the joker of Huzur Sayyidina Ghazi Azam will be open. Why? Huzur Ghazpaq has promised his Murid that before you pass away from this dunya, I will make you do Tawbah. I will make sure before you pass away from this world, you go clean in the bargah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And secondly, Huzur Ghazpaq said that I will not enter Jannah until I have passed every single one of my murids into heaven. This, this is nisbat. This is what we are working for. And as I was mentioning, that everything from Huzur Ghazpaq is done with choosing. Whether it's the awlaad, whether it's muridin, whether it's the place, the tariqah, the silsila. And I mentioned something about myself, which with the hukum of peace I will mention again, that I met Huzur Shahzada Ibu Silwara in September 2013. Alhamdulillah, we found out that the awlaad of Wasi Azim is here, so we came to make the ziyarat. And there was four or five of us, we came over here, we did the ziyarat of Huzur Shahzada Ibu Silwara. And those people who were with me, they all became murids apart from me. And then I started coming regularly in the programs in the zikr, we found out 
whenever Huzur Sayyidi was here, the only intention was, come, was to come and do the ziyarat of the awlad of Sayyidina Abbas Azam. In 2014, in January, I was in uh, the Jamia Masjid in Manchester and we arranged a Maulid program for Huzur Shahzada Ibn Sibara. It was in Rabbi al Sharif, the, jal the Jalsa for the Milad of Nabi Alayhi Salaam was Salaam. And Huzur Shahzada Ibn Sibara came in that program and Alhamdulillah they blessed the people of Manchester with their presence. That night, uh, those others who were there, some of our colleagues from Masjid and some students, they took murid, they took bath and became the murid of Huzur Shahzada Ibn Bara. That night I went to sleep and I seen in a dream that those people who I came to Astana with in 2013, they were with me in that dream and I seen that we was going somewhere in a gathering or a majlis and I moved away from them. I said to them, I am coming back, you wait here. I entered a, a different room. I was searching for something and we left, we went into a different room. And when I went into that room, I remember seeing stars on the walls and a staircase going upstairs. So I started walking up those stairs and there was another door which I opened and when I opened it, I seen the Jani Mubarak of Sayyidina Wasi Azam And around the maqam of Hazur Wasi Azam, were those four people who came with us when we came here for the first time. And there were red cushions on the floor and these Murideen were sitting there. And one space was empty. And I asked that person in the dream that, can I sit next to you? And he said, no. And I asked him why, but he didn't answer. He put his head down. And then I was standing there and I was thinking that I came with these people, I want to sit with them as well. This is the maqam of Huzur Ghasi Azam and I heard a voice in that dream saying that you have entered from the wrong door. These came from one door, you came from the other door. If you want to sit over here as well, you come from the door in front of you. That's when in the dream I lifted my head and looked and there was a door and it was opened by Huzur Shahzada Ibn Wasil Barat. This for me was an ishara from the Bargav Wasi Azam that if you want to come to me, then come through my awlaad. This is the reason Huzur Sayyidi is here today. They have given us the nisbat of Sayyidina Wasi Azam. Now this was a dream, I tell you something which happened in reality. In 2017 in Ramadan, I went to perform Umrah Sharif. The Prophet has said very famously that he who performs Umrah in Ramadan is like he has performed Hajj. So I went in the last 10 days of, of Ramadan to perform Umrah and I reached Makkah Sharif, did Umrah and on the same day I went to Medina Sharif and it was very hot, I still remember and I was very very tired from that journey but I went to Medina Sharif, I did Iftar over there and then I rested and after Fajr I went to present Salam in the Barakah of Huzur Ali Salatu Salam The reason why I'm telling you this, this was not planned Allah is a witness to this, this was not planned but this is the connection of the hearts when I went in front of the Jali Mubarak, it was quite busy, it was Ramadan and this thought, this khayal came into my mind. I still do not know why, but this khayal came into my mind. I thought in my heart that I have left my house, I have left my family, I have spent in the way of Allah, I have performed Umrah, I was fasting during the state of Umrah, I have traveled to Medina Sharif and all these things I did for the sake of Allah. And now I've come into the bargain of Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam. This thought came into my mind that Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, give me a sign or an ishara. This is how I said it. With the sadqa of Huzur Shahzada ayah wasal bara, that my hazri in your bargain has been accepted. I just want to know that I have struggled and come here, but have you accepted this or not? Because if you have not accepted it, I will work harder. Yeah. But if you have accepted it, I can go to sleep in peace. That I've come into the bargain of Nabi Salaam, and that ibadat I did for Allah has been accepted. But this khayal came in my heart with the sadqa of Huzur Shahzada Ibn And I was stood outside the green dome. This is reality, my eyes were closed. And as you can imagine, emotions of a person are running high at that time as well. And when I opened my eye, out of many hundreds of people, I seen a person wearing this hat of Huzur Shahzada Ghasib Bara. A Munideen of Huzur Ghasib Azam of Huzur Shahzada Ghasib Bara was there in Medina Sharif. And because I asked with the Sadqa of Huzur Shahzada Ghasib Bara, I received the Sadqa of Huzur Shahzada Ghasib Bara. 
I seen a murid of Zul Sayyidi over there out of many hundreds of people. Very, very busy place, but I seen this red and white hat. The Nishani of the Bardah of Wasi Azam The purpose and reason of telling you this is that the ikhlas that you keep in your heart and the adab will take you in very far manzils in Nisbat. That when you want something from this Bardah, because this Bardah is very famous for giving, whoever came to the doorstep of Wasi Azam never left empty. Whether he was a murid or not a murid, whoever came to Wasbaq, he never went empty from this, from this darbar. This is the shan of this darbar because Allah is a razi with this family and this family is razi with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well. So I make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He gives us tawfiq to love this family in this life and in the hereafter as well. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq to keep our nisbat. With Huzur Shahzada Ayahuasit Bara, with the Khan Wada of Wasi Azam, all the Aulad of Wasi Azam, are respectful for us and are the crowns of our head. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep our nisbat strong in this life and in the hereafter as well. Wa ma alayna illa al balagh al mubi. MashaAllah. So beautiful speech, MashaAllah, for all of us. Uh, Brother Hassan Ajmal Al Qadri, mashallah, has shared with us his experience. And I know every one of us has one's own story. You have your story, everyone's experience, how it became possible for us to be there to the Bhagavad Gita of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Ham jitne bhi hain, aap ho, main ho, jitne bhi ham sare, ham sab ka koi na koi ek background hai. Sab ke paas story hai, sab ka experience hai. मुशादा है इसलिए एक ही दुआ है सब के लिए मेरे लिए आप के लिए हम सब करते हैं अल्लाह पाक हमारी इस गुलामी को तादाद में क्या मसलामत रखे ये जो निस्बत है इसमें इस्तिकामत का मैं हमेशा जिक्र करता हूँ यही इसका माना है कि जिस वार्गा की गुलामी हमने इख्तियार की है ये गुलामी ऐसे ही न समझे हुजूर मैंने आपको बताया था ना कि दिस टाउन द मुकाम इब्राहिम जो है इट टच द फीट ऑफ सी इब्राहिम अलैहि सलात व सलाम एंड इट बिकम सो स्पेशल टिल द जजमेंट डे एंड द सफा मरवा टच द फीट ऑफ सी द हाजरा सलाम अलैहि अलैहि बिकम सो स्पेशल एंड लुक एट दीस पर्सनालिटीज वो तो थे ना कदमैन इब्राहिम अलैहि सलात व सलाम के पत्थर को छुए तो स्पेशल हो गया बिकम सो स्पेशल Safa Marwa, so special, all these things. And what about the blood of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? What about the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? Aka alayhi salatu salam ne kya farmaya tha? Inni tarak tufiqu mustakalain. Kitab Allah, waitrati ya halabaiti. Wa in tamasaku bhema lam tadillu baadi. Mai tha mai tumare liye piche ye do cheeze bari bari chhoad ke ja raha hu. I'm going to leave two heavy things for you. بہت باری چیزیں وہ کیا ہے کتاب اللہ the book of Allah سبحانہ وتعالی and my family اہل البیت for you and if you follow them if you hold strongly their دامن your نسبت your تعلق یعنی in other words you can say if you follow only the Quran don't follow the اہل البیت and don't love the اہل البیت it means you are not following the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alhamdulillah ta'ala we are proud of it we are following the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because we follow the Quran and the sunnah and the adul bayt of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we have become the ghulam of this barga and they are the ahlul bayt the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who's the ghost baki barga ki baat hui hai mukta saran jyada nahi wakt nahi hai we are already جو ہے کافی وقت ہو چکا ہے فیو اشار دوستوں کی خواہش تھی اور جس ریٹن دیس فیو اشار لاسٹ ویک تو میں نے فینش کیا تھا تو بہت سے دوستوں کی خواہش تھی تو میں نے اس لیے اس کو کمپلیٹ کر کے آپ کے سامنے چند اشار پڑھوں گا جس جس نے وہ نوٹ کر لیں نوٹ کر بہت سے دوست کہتے ہیں پڑھ لیں میں نے کہا آپ سن لیں نوٹ کر لیں پھر پڑھ لیں تمام حضرات میرے ساتھ مل کے پڑھیں گا this is also about the bar of Gospah the Malar Sharif, Baghdad Sharif, the Ghospaq Radhi Allah Ta'ala, how important is it, and who is Ghospaq Radhi Allah Ta'ala, their maqam. 
ये पंजाबी में है ना तो पंजाबी में लाख तरीका आपने सुना है तो जरा आप इंजॉय करेंगे पंजाबी में मेरे साथ पढ़ेंगे चल चलिए दबारे मीरा दे चल चलिए दबारे मीरा दे सारे बोलो ना जरा चल चलिए दबारे मीरा दे चलिए दबारे इट मीन्स लेट्स गो टू दबारगा होश पा कर दी लगता है दैट्स वॉट इट मीन्स चल चलिए दबारे मीरा दे चल चलिए दबारे मीरा दे चल चलिए दबारे मीरा दे जेड़े पीर ने सारे पीरा दे जेड़े पीर ने सारे पीरा दे जेड़े सारे लेट्स गो टू द बारगा वली जो पीरू के पीर हैं उनकी बारगाह में ताला नो के बारे में फिर अगली बात जो है मीरा हसनी हुसैनी सैयद ने मीरा हसनी हुसैनी सैयद ने मीरा हसनी हुसैनी सैयद ने ओ मालिक सब तत हीरा दे ओ मालिक सब तत हीरा दे ये जो लफ्ज है ना सब तत हीरा मीन्स अल्लाह रब्बुल इज्जत ने कुरान करीम में फरमाया नमा युरीदु अल्लाह युधिबान कुम मुनिसा हलल बैत व युतहिरा कुम तत हीरा द प्योरिटी ऑफ अहलुल बैत वो कितने पाक और साफ है सफा उनकी कितनी है वो ये प्योरिफिकेशन कितनी उनकी पाकिजगी क्या है ये उस तरफ इशारा है मीरा हसनी हुसैनी सैयद ने ओ मालिक सब तत हीरा दे चल चलिए दबारे मीरा दे ओ वाकिफ जाहिर बातिन दे in open and secret he knows everything oh waqif zahir batin de oh waqif zahir batin de oh arif sab taqdeera de oh arif sab taqdeera de jehde peer ne sare peeran de jehde peer ne sare पीते समंदर इलमा दे पीते समंदर इलमा दे पीते समंदर इलमा दे ओ आलिम ओ आलिम सब तफसीर दे ओ आलिम सब तफसीर दे जेड़े पीर ने सारे पीर दे रब दिते खजाने मीरानू रब दिते खजाने मीरानू रब दिते खजाने मीरानू मालिक सब जागीर दे मालिक सब जागीर सारे खजाने रब ने उधर गोसपा कर दीला उतार बता कर रखे हैं जेड़े पीर ने सारे पीर दे जेड़े पीर ने सारे पीरा दे असी बरदे सारे मीरा दे वही तो सर्वेंट सब गोस पा कर दी लव तारा असी बरदे सारे मीरा दे असी बरदे सारे मीरा दे असी बरदे सारे मीरा दे ओ सहारे पुर तक सीरा दे ओ सहारे पुर तक सीरा दे जेड़े पीर ने 
سارے پیران دے میں مختصر کر رہا ہوں وقت نہیں ہے او سلطان نے غوثان کتبان دے He the king of the saints او سلطان نے غوثان کتبان دے او سلطان نے غوثان کتبان دے او امام نے روشن زمیران دے او امام نے روشن زمیران دے جڑے پیری نے سارے پیران دے حضور سیدی کے لیے جو شیر نے لکھا ہے سید حاشم توفے میران دے The gift of God's power of Allah Ta'ala Sayyid Hashim Tawfi Miradi Sayyid Hashim Tawfi Miradi Eh Mahboob Gariba Ya Miradi Eh Mahboob Gariba Ya Miradi Jere Peeri Ne Sare Peeradi Jere Peeri Ne Sare مکتہ ہے مبارک اس وچ میرا کچھ بھی نہیں whatever you said I've done nothing I'm nothing there everything مبارک اس وچ میرا کچھ بھی نہیں مبارک اس وچ میرا کچھ بھی نہیں اے جلوے نے سارے میرا دے جلوے نے سارے میران دے جڑے پیری نے سارے پیران دے چل چلیے دوارے میران دے جڑے پیری نے سارے پیران دے اللہ رب رضل قبول فرمائے آگے انشاءاللہ آپ جو ہے ختم غوثی شریف انشاءاللہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم تمام خطر کے لئے پاک پڑھیں اللہم صلی اللہ سیدنا مولانا محمد وعلا آلی سیدنا و مولانا محمد و بارک و سلم و سلی علی اللہم صلی اللہ سیدنا و مولانا وعلى آله سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم وصلي عليه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
خود بھی عدی شیئر للہ یا حضرت سلطان شیخ سید عبد القادر جیلانی المدد خود بھی عدی شیئر للہ یا حضرت سلطان شیخ سید عبد القادر جیلانی المدد خود بھی عدی شیئر للہ یا حضرت سلطان شیخ سید عبد القادر جیلانی المدد بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الم نسرح لکا صدرک وغدو علا انتا بزرک الَّذِي يَنْكَضُ ظَهْرَكَ وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَا إِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ يُسْرَا فَإِذَا فَرَوْتَ فَأَنصَبْ وَإِلَى رَبِّكَ فَرْغَبْ بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضع على أنك بسرك الذي ينكض ظهرك ورفع على لك ذكرك فإن مع الأسر يسرا إن مع الأسر يسرا فإذا فرغت فانصب وإلى ربك فرغب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضع على أنك بسرك الذي ينكض ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع الأسر يسرا إن مع الأسر يسرا فإذا فرغت فانصب وإلى ربك فرغب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا باقي أنت الباقي يا باقي أنت الباقي يا باقي أنت الباقي يا كافي أنت الكافي يا كافي أنت الكافي يا كافي أنت الكافي يا شافي أنت الشافي يا شافي أنت الشافي يا شافي أنت الشافي يا هادي أنت الهادي يا هادي أنت الهادي يا هادي أنت الهادي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أدرى الشام حي الدين مشكل كشاب الخير يا حضرة شاء محي الدين مشكل كشاء بالخير يا حضرة شاء محي الدين مشكل كشاء بالخير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا حضرة غوث أغثنا بإذن الله يا حضرة غوث أغثنا بإذن الله يا حضرة غوث أغثنا بإذن الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سهل فسهل يا إلهي كل صعب بحرمة سيد الأبرار سهل فسهل يا إلهي كل صعب بحرمة سيد الأبرار سهل فسهل يا إلهي كل صعب بحرمة سيد الأبرار بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إمداد كن إمداد كن أزرا جوغم آزاد كن دردين ودنيا شاد كن يا غوث آزم درستغير إمداد كن إمداد كن أزرن جو غم آزاد کن در دین و دنیا شاد کن یا غوث آزم دستگیر امداد کن امداد کن أزرن جو غم آزاد کن در دین و دنیا شاد کن یا غوث آزم دستگیر يا شيخ سيد عبد القادر شيئا لله يا شيخ سيد عبد القادر شيئا لله يا شيخ سيد عبد القادر شيئا لله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مشكلات بعدد دار مما شیئن للہ غوث آزم پیر ما مشکلات بے عدد دار مما شیئن للہ غوث آزم پیر ما مشکلات بے عدد دار مما شیئن للہ غوث آزم پیر ما بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم 
عن الجيل يوحي الدين اللقبي عن الجيل يوحي الدين اللقبي وأعلى بي على روس الجبال أنا الحسني والمحدع مقامي وأقدامي على ونق الرجال وعبد القادر المشهور اسمي وعبد القادر المشهور اسمي وجدي صاحب العين الكمال وجدي صاحب العين الكمال اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا ومولانا محمد المعدن الجود والكرم ومن باع العلم والحلم والحكم والي وبارك وسلم وصلي على بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا الهي لا فرماي ما بن النبي يا ابن مصاحب سيد الربين والاخرين فخر موجودات خلاصاء کائنات محمد مصطفى احمد مصطفى حبيب کبریاء تاجدار مدینہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا امیر المومنین علی ابن ابی طالب رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا امام حسن المصطفى رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا امام حسن المصنع رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا عبد اللہ رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا موسی الجون رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا عبد اللہ رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا موسی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا داوود رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا محمد رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا یحییٰ المرحید رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا یحییٰ الجی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا ابو صالح موسی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی لا فرما حضرت امام سیدنا و مرشدنا و شیخنا و شیخ الشیوخ و شیخ الکل سلطان الاولیاء و صالحین محبوب سبحانی قطب ربانی شہباد اللہ مکانی الشیخ السید ابو محمد محی الدین عبد القادر الجیلانی الحسن والحسین حضور سیدنا و صلات مردی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا عبد العزیز رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا علی تاک رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا شمس الدین رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا شرف الدین رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا زین الدین رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا علی الدین رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا نور الدین رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا حسام الدین رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا محمد الرویش رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا زین الدین رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا مصطفی الگیلانی البغدادی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا سلیمان الگیلانی البغدادی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا علی القادری الگیلانی البغدادی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا عبد الرحمن رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا صفا الدین رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا منصور الدین الگیلانی البغدادی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا عبد القادری منصور الدین الگیلانی البغدادی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ کے واسطے یا الہی نے فرما حضرت علی امام سیدنا ابو مرشدنا سیدی و مرشدی و سندی و ثقتی و رجائی و مولائی الشیخ سید حاشم عبد القادری منصور الدین الگیلانی البغدادی حفظ اللہ تعالی کے واسطے ببرکت ان اللہ و ملائکت و صلونا علی النبی یا ای الذین امنوا صلوا علیہ وسلموا تسلیما اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم عليه سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين بل الصلاه وصل بعد ان شاء الله ذكر الله تمام الله سبحانه وتعالى الحاضرين من النار اللهم بارك لنا في شهادتنا وفي عنا بالبركة إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلم تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين آمين يا رب العالمين اللهم صل سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم وصل عليه اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد 
وبارك وسلم وصلي عليه لا إله إلا الله 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 لا إله لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله صادق الوعد الأمين إلا الله 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 لا إله إلا الله الملك الحق المبين محمد رسول الله صادق الوعد الأمين الله I'm a 
پائے کہ مام آزم دور ہو سبھی کہ رنج و غم یا نبی سلام علیکہ یا رسول سلام علیکہ یا حبی سلام علیکہ صادوات اللہ علیکہ صادوات اللہ علیکہ شیئے اللہ یا عبد القادر شیئے اللہ یا عبد القادر محی الدین فی قلب حاضر محی الدین فی قلب حاضر جیلانی والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين اللهم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أرحمنا وارحم جماعة الحاضر إن في هذا المكان يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أرحمنا وارحم جميع المسلمين والمسلمات المؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك عزيز قريب مجيب الدعوات اللهم لا تدع في مجلسنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا عيبا إلا سترته ولا هما إلا فرشته ولا فقيرا إلا رزقته ولا مريضا إلا شافيته اللهم تقبل دعانا ببركة الأنبياء والأولياء والصالحين خاصة وخصوصا سيدنا القطب الرباني والهيكل الصمداني سيدنا الغوث العظم أبي محمد المحي الدين عبد القادر الديلاني وببركة إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلم تسليما اللهم صلِّ وسلم بارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين آمين